Welcome back. In video 5, we will be preparing the trial balance. A trial balance is a list of accounts and their balances at a given time. Accounts are listed in the order in which they appear in the ledger. Debit balances appear in the left column and credit balances in the right column. The purpose of the trial balance is to prove the mathematical equality of debit and credits in the general ledger after posting and to uncover errors in journalizing and posting. The trial balance is also useful in the preparation of financial statements. The trial balance does not prove all transactions are recorded or that the general ledger is accurate. A trial balance may balance even though errors may exist, such as failure to journalize a transaction, failure to post a journal entry, duplicate posting of a journal entry, and use of incorrect accounts in recording a transaction. Again, here's the sample chart of account. Just as a reminder, assets are listed in the 100 series number, liabilities, 200 series, owner's equity, 300, revenues, 400, and expenses in the 700 series range. Okay, a trial balance should be prepared each time journal entries are posted to ensure that the books are in balance. The steps to prepare a trial balance are, step one, go through the general ledger in sequential order and for every account with a balance, enter the balance in the appropriate column of the trial balance. Step two, total the debit and credit columns. Step three, prove the equality of the debit and credit columns. We are now ready to prepare a trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for cash is 13,200 debit. This amount should be entered in the debit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for accounts receivable is 1,400 debit. This amount should be entered in the debit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for office supplies is 1,000 debit. This amount should be entered in the debit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for prepaid insurance is 900 debit. This amount should be entered in the debit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for equipment is 10,000 debit. This amount should be entered in the debit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for accounts payable is 400 credit. This amount should be entered in the credit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 15, the general ledger balance for Minelli Capital is 25,000 credit. This amount should be entered in the credit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for Minelli withdrawal is 1,500 debit. This amount should be entered in the debit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for design fees is 4,200 credit. This amount should be entered in the credit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for salaries and wages is 750 debit. The salaries and wage expense balance of 750 is entered in the debit column of the trial balance. At the end of November 2015, the general ledger balance for rent expense is 850 debit. This amount should be entered in the debit column of the trial balance. Okay, here's the completed trial balance. Note that the total debits, 29,600, equals total credits, 29,600. This indicates that the company's books are in balance. Errors in the trial balance can occur due to mathematical mistakes and errors in posting, such as transposition of amounts posted or inaccurate posting of debits as credit or vice versa. If the debits and credit columns are not equal, recompute the totals of both columns 
to eliminate addition error. Next, determine the difference between the two columns of the trial balance. In this case, the difference between the debit column and the credit column is $800. If the amount is divisible by 2, this means that an amount has been posted in the wrong column. To correct, scan the trial balance for an amount equal to half the difference which has been entered in the wrong column. So in this case, the $800 difference is divisible by 2, so we are looking for a $400 difference that was posted in the wrong column. So as we scan the trial balance, we see a $400 debit next to accounts payable. This is incorrect. By moving the 400 debit over to the credit column, our trial balance should now balance. If the arrow is divisible by 9, this indicates that there has been a transposition error. That is, two numbers have been reversed. For example, instead of 95, the number was entered as 59. So in this case, notice the difference between the debit column and the credit column is 180. This number is divisible by 9. Therefore, we're going to scan the trial balance looking for a transposition error. So as we scan this trial balance, we see a number next to salaries and wages expense of 570. The correct number should be 750. So by entering the correct number, our trial balance will now balance. If the error is not divisible by 2 or 9, Scan the general ledger to determine if an amount was omitted from the trial balance or if part of a journal entry was omitted when posting to the general ledger. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. The next step in the accounting cycle is preparing adjusting entries. Go to video 6 to see how to prepare adjusting entries.